Hi you guys, how are you doing this wonderful, wonderful morning? I hope you're doing amazing. I'm officially ready to get 2020 going in a good, positive way. So welcome to today's video. You guys are probably wondering why I'm sitting, why I'm sitting in a blow up chair. But it's not about the blow up chair. It's about why half of it is deflated. Half of this chair is deflated, just like half of my life is deflated, and I'm so ready to bring it back to life, inflate, inflate myself, and be the best version of myself. Maybe that wasn't the best metaphor, but you understand what I'm saying, right? But who can change your 2020 future? Hmm, something has to change. So let me show you what. Let me just use this random whiteboard that I had sitting here. And that thing is you, okay? You, you, BT. I didn't even wanna write Y-O-U because it has three letters, okay? And you is one person. You, 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 you're one person. And you singly control your whole life. So I really hope that you guys are so ready for some damn change, okay? I'm tired of hearing, oh, 20, 21, it's gonna be just like 2020. Why are you guys already putting the vibes out there like that? Don't say that. Just wish for the best, hope for the best, be optimistic. And just like this deflated chair, we have to inflate half of us back up so we can hold ourselves properly and orderly and just better, just better. 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 I'm about to do some yoga. So if you would like to go and get up and do some yoga with me, that would be amazing. I'll leave the links down below of what yoga video I'm doing and I hope you join me. See you guys after my little yoga thing. Go. had a wonderful yoga session and as you guys saw I just made myself some tea and this tea is always just burning hot and there's just absolutely no way I can drink it immediately in five minutes even 10 minutes this is gonna have to sit for like at least 15 20 minutes and that's okay because one it needs to steep or whatever it is that tea does and two, patience. I need patience. That is one of the biggest things that I think has really affected my life negatively is my patience because I have zero. Zero. I always want something to happen fast and happen now. I don't care for waiting. 
If I have to wait, I'll choose a different option that I don't have to wait for. And that can mean a bunch of different things just in everyday life. Just patience overall. If you have more patience, that means I, I feel that you have more like understanding towards things and understand that things take time. And that's one thing that I for sure need to learn and understand. So every time I wait for my tea, that takes like 20 minutes to cool down from burning hot lava. I understand that I just need more patience. <laughs> no, but really, that is definitely something that I'm looking forward to getting better at is understanding patience and waiting. Good things take time, not everything, but some things take time for them to be the best. Just like myself, just like yourself, you know? The good things take time. Here I go with another great metaphor. We are like tea bags. If you put us directly in water, the water isn't gonna taste like the tea. It might taste good a little bit, a little bit, but if you let it sit there a little bit, warm up and brew, you know, brew, you or the water will just be that much better. So just like us, I feel like we all just need time to, you know, brew and become better. I hope that makes sense. I also hope that I'm using the word metaphor correctly. Hold up. Figure of speech in which a word or phrase is applied to an object action. I was correct. <laughs> yes, I do not know. Well, I do kind of know. I do kind of know. I was gonna say I don't really know what I have for the rest of the day, but I do kind of know. I'm just gonna fix up a couple things. And also the space behind me, there used to be a desk here with a PC. I don't know if you guys remember it at all, but it's all been moved. And now the space is going to become a very peaceful place where I can do my yoga. I can just meditate. I can sit here if I just, you know, just want to chill. So hopefully I'll be doing some videos where you guys are able to see the transformation behind me. I really wanted to get some fake plants and stuff, but why are they so expensive though? There's some that of course are not expensive, but they're probably as tall as that tree right there. And I don't want that. I want a big, beautiful fake tree, like beautiful fake plants and everything, <sighs> but that's expensive and I don't think I should be wasting my money on fake plants. Or should I? Um, but then I also have work later tonight, um, and then I also have work tomorrow, and then I work tomorrow, and then the next day. So, I have four days of work coming up, um, but I'm going to cherish the time I have at home to be able to make it as peaceful as I can, do some yoga every morning, have my tea, you know, how's this tea doing by the way? How you doing? Mmm, you smell so good, but why you so high? There is just a million and one things that need to change and I'm gonna take them day by day and try my best every freaking day and I hope you guys try your best too. I'm gonna to go make myself a bagel because I really be wanting a bagel <laughs> while away from my damn lava tea to cool down. Cause this should take it way too long. But patience. My absolute favorite bagel are the mini ones. Don't tell me I'm wrong. These are the absolute best bagels. I could go for some big bagels, you know, the big chunky monkey bagels, but I just like the mini ones. I don't know if it's better because I feel like I could eat like six of these, like rather than having like one big bagel, but these just taste so much better. Got my bagels, they have to be crispy. Also, my favorite cream cheese ever is, wow, I took the top off and I showed you this. It's chive cream cheese. Chive and onion, just as good. Either or, they are both the absolute best. And I also spread my like cream cheese and or butter with a knife. Bay does it with a spoon, so let me know which one you guys do. I think it's dumb to do with a spoon because like if you're scooping it, then you gotta plop it down and then turn the spoon over and then spread it. And I feel like there's, like some wasted because it's on like the scoopy part of the spoon. I don't know. I just feel like a knife is way easier, but Bay's always done it with a spoon. So I was like, okay, clearly 
y'all be doing it with a spoon and I just be doing it with a knife. And they also have to be absolutely covered in cream cheese. So, cheers, cheers. I don't think I could ever have an editor because there would be footage that I just wouldn't want other people to see. That doesn't mean it's bad footage, but like, I just ate a bagel for like three minutes. I wasn't talking. I'm just sitting here looking at the walls around me, eating a bagel. Would I want someone else to see that? Whoever invented bagels, thank you. You know what? I'm gonna look up who invented bagels. Story goes, a baker in Vienna, Austria, hell yeah, accidentally invented the bagel in the late 17th century. So we don't get to know who, but wow, okay. So clearly the person that invented bagels doesn't get no damn credit because Google doesn't even know. But thank you to the baker in Vienna, Austria. My tea also cooled down, so now I can drink it. It's been approximately four days later. So I'm basically just me cleaning up for the rest of the day. Nothing that exciting. But I just want to record this little video today and just tell you guys, keep your damn head up and just keep pushing. Just do a little yoga sesh, meditate, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Make yourself a tea, you know, whatever. Just take it one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? Just take it one day at a time. Do one thing better than you did. One thing, let me figure this out. Do one thing better. No. Do something better than you, do one more thing that's better than you did yesterday. I don't know if that makes sense, but just try to do something that you didn't do yesterday that you know will lift your spirits. Does that make any damn sense? I hope so. Anyways, I love you guys, and I hope you have the greatest rest of your freaking day. Um, I love you. Um, and if you don't mind, I'm really freaking trying to hit 700 subscribers because I've been floating in the like 630 range for like a couple months now and I would really love it if I could hit 700 freaking subscribers and I'm kind of giving myself little what is it called little achievement areas here so if I hit 700 subscribers I'm probably gonna buy myself a new tripod because the tripod I have is not the best and tripods are expensive so I'm like bitch if you hit 700 subscribers maybe 800 I might push it then you could buy yourself a tripod so this is basically how I'm working on myself now I'm just like if you hit this then you can get this if you achieve this then you can get this so it's basically what I'm doing to myself now so if you don't mind please subscribe down below if you haven't because I can see that tons of y'all are not subscribed so if you please could subscribe down below I would appreciate it so 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 freaking much and I'll see all you beautiful people in my next video See ya!